Hey guys, and welcome back to Gravity Ghost. We're go going on to episode 3 slash world 3, which is this deer or elephant. I almost said elephant. Yeah, deer guardian. I almost said, I meant to say elk, but I almost accidentally said elephant. Alright, out of time. A gravity platforming puzzle adventure continues. We'll see how many other layers they're gonna, uh, how many other mechanics they're gonna layer on top. Am I supposed to go inside that thing? What's going on there? What's this? Look at the tiny little planet! Aww. What is this thing, though, is what I'm wondering. I must have to go... I must have to go in... Oh! Whoa! What? Spin, something about spinning around that's making it come back into focus like it didn't exist before. It's a black hole! It's a black hole! So you somehow progress time on those objects by spinning around them, appear, it would appear. What is, is this, Superman? Alright, magic element, Earth. About to get our second element. How many were in that song that the mouse told us? I, I believe there was six elements. Makes sense that there'd probably be one new element in each world after the first one. Silly Slalomander, you don't get no elements. Alright, let's try to drop on this. There we go. So, presumably, if you use Earth powers, which maybe I have to use that to even proceed, huh? There we go. If I swim in a circle around this, it'll turn into Earth. Ta-da! Switch back to normal so I don't waste any more hair that I don't want to, but... So, now I, that now I have the power to turn anything into a normal planet. Not the most exciting power to have, but probably relatively vital to have. Uh, if I'm gonna keep getting more powers, I'm gonna want to be able to reset things. Also, they're probably gonna throw a bunch of water stuff at me now. Hey, come back! Where are you going? Be good. We'll see you before long. Try to forgive Arthur. It wasn't his fault. I know. I just... missed you. Frostbite. So we're getting closer and closer to more hints about the tragedy that may have fallen these characters. Oh, this will be interesting. I have to catch a wolf that's on an ice planet. Can I get them to... F okay. Oh. I somehow managed to jump without getting the wolf to jump, which is handy. Oh, this time they jumped. Come here, wolf. Come here, wolfie. Yeah, you're screwed because of ice. Come here! Ha ha ha. Tricked you. Just need to get that. Alright, and we're out of here. A lot of ice around here, but I don't think any of them have... They don't seem to have anything in them, so I, I should be pretty safe to proceed elsewhere. What do we have around here? Ah, we have a wolf-shaped skeleton that's standing up. I assume that when it's standing up, that means that you have the corresponding spirit. So we definitely have one coming around with us. So here goes Free Skate. What is this? Oh, it's a whole sequence of glass globes. Oh, I just caught one on accident. Interesting. So if I just break through, I can collect most of the stuff, right? Oh, I might have missed. I may have missed. I, made a mis I may have made a mistake. It's, it can be a little hard to... Okay, come on. Toward, no, towards the middle. Oh, I should have stopped being in gravity mode. Oh, no, no. So close. Come on. This is interesting to try to control because, oh, of course, the, my two gravity sources are spitting in a circle. Oh, no. So I'm going to float away. All right. Oh, I keep getting so close. Oh, there we go. It's interesting. It's not necessarily a puzzle. It's more like just really strange platforming, so I can't... I'm used, to, I'm used to talking my thought process through when I'm solving puzzles, but that may not be entirely applicable here. All right, let's go get that. Can I, is it, am I, can I go down? There we go. All right, enter gravity mode and you, you fall straight down. There's some fishies in here. Aw. I need to get that, that skeleton. No, no, no. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> I grossly missed my goal there. Careful. Here. Yeah. Welcome to space. Congratulations, Wolf. Now that I've saved you, I've introduced a predator into this world. That'll be great for all those other less predatory animals that I've saved. I guess one of them was probably a bobcat, so he is probably kind of predatory himself. I am not escaping orbit very well. I guess I'm I guess I'm getting slightly higher cuz the hair is getting higher. Oh no.
Have you been visiting that batty old woman? No. She baked you a veggie quiche. It'll be by tomorrow. You should be back in school by now. But with the lighthouse broken, no one can cross the waters. It's okay. Eddie is teaching me the sacred geometry. What? Did you know the entire universe is made of triangles? Ugh. Look here. You want space geometry? Here's something real. This is the Earth. If you inscribe it within a perfect pentagon, and you draw five more perfect circles through the corners, and you draw a smaller circle tangent to those circles, you derive the size of the moon relative to the Earth. Huh. Neat, right? The truth is so much more interesting than fairy tales. Okay, now you sound like mom. Whee! <laughs> I learned something, assuming that's true. I've never heard of that before, ever. Uh, the reason why I said no was because I was trying to collect all the pieces of hair stuff that was flying out. And I, unfortunately, up is glide, up is also how you go through a door. Uh, so I lost it forever. Oh, I'm here on the bottom. So my goal is to get to that star near the middle. Just gotta see me flying. They see me flying. They see, yeah. Uh, oh, I didn't break it. Shit. I got you. Yeah. All right, now I just need to get back to it. Let's go glide mode. Succeed! Oh, no, 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 come on. Aw, game, why? <laughs> come back. Come back, game. Oh, 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 oh. Do I have it? I have it. Success has been mine since the very beginning because I am almighty or something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. I'll go back around the other direction. Oh, where am I going to find TikTok? Oh. There's the other there's the other body right there. So I'll go up to derivation and then I'll go back around and hand the body over. Cause otherwise I guess there's not really a suboptimal path because you can just pick anyone wherever you want, but oh lordy. So we have two patterns of, of uh two two patterns of hair pieces and two patterns of bouncy bubbles. Just going in a circle. Alright. This is, might be chaos. This is going to be chaos. Alrighty then. Coolio. I don't feel like a crazy person right now, right now at all. Uh, okay, let's try to get to the other side. The star must be mine. No, the star must be mine. Yeah, star is mine. All right. If I bounce around a bit, actually, probably want to head to the top of the screen right now. Just grabbing a few of these pieces will extend things a bit. I have a lot of hair right now, though, so it's not a big deal. Oh god, this is a this is a nightmare. I have to leave. I have to leave forever. I can't stay here. Oh no. God, no, no, no door, door. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Yeah. That was... That was gonna be a problem very quickly. Derivation. I was starting to get concerned about how... Ooh. We're drawing the sun. I mean, not the sun, the earth. I was like, the, the, your options are earth and moon. I know, I'll say sun. So they're... Oh, they're going... They're all going in the five directions, too. So everything's going around in a circle to represent the five large circles, and in the middle is the moon. If I go... If I go in a circle around the moon, it should form and give me a star. Okay, oh, yeah. oh, you have to go around in a circle for a set amount of time without colliding with anything. That's an interesting issue. Okay. Ah. Uh, fall down a little bit. Okay, careful. Oh, they're gonna collide with me. This might be difficult. Okay. Careful. I have to be careful to avoid all of the other planetoids going around in the circle. Ah! Oh, I almost had it. Careful. Careful spinny circle time. It's careful spinny circle. Don't, don't collide. No, glide away from them. No! This is actually... It's almost perfectly timed to be super hard, actually. Oh, no. If I stay way out here, I might not be able to hit them. Oh, no. That one's directly my path. Why? Why do you do this to me, game? Oh, I can change direction, right? Oh, changing direction does not doesn't even cause any problems. Go this way. Just stay away from them. They're dastardly ways. There we go. This is beautiful, by the way. This is a great visual in general. Huh. Okay, this might be difficult. How do I get to the door when it doesn't have its own gravity source? Uh, 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 no! Yeah, there we go. I escaped. I'm free! Just barely, though. That was... They did not want me to leave that place. Falling up. Hello. 
Oh, I guess I live here now. Okay, cool. What? Why did I go that? Whoa! I went so much further than I expected to do on any level. Star, star, embrace me, star. You must be mine. Are you gonna be mine now? No, come back here. I want you to be mine. No! There we go. You can't escape my gravity bomb. It's the, it's the true secret, <laughs> apparently. Up. The door. The door must be mine. This is difficult to control. <laughs> oh! Okay. Now through the middle. Nope, I missed. Down to the middle. This is very difficult to control. Okay, made it. This is chaos. <laughs> Whatever successes I have are not due to skill, I, I will say that much. Okay, so, if I quickly alternate between... Oh, crap. This is, oh, this is some dense gravity. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright. Well, let's just commit. You're not the boss of me. I've got a gravity bomb. Chink, chink. Yes. It's like destroying Christmas. I've never been more happy. Destroy! Destroy! Yes, oh, no, get back up. Now I have to get back up there, though, without a gravity source. Because it doesn't have its own gravity. If I go back and forth, I think I go slowly higher. Yeah, that's going to take me 500 years. Let's try going around. Then I bomb again past it. Glide. There we go. I'm learning to manipulate gravity. How high can I jump? Yeah, success. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, I can just turn you into water. We're fine. Everything's fine, folks. Go back inside. Nothing to look at here. Escape. Alrighty. So, everything's taken care of now. We just now we have we have the heart planet. We have the location where the body needs to the body of the spirit I already have, and then we have the finale. Let's go wrap up the deer area. Oh, it's another maze. Right. All the all the hearts are mazes, aren't they? So. Kind of have to solve mazes backwards, I think, to figure out how to get the ball out. So, it looks like I'm going to go down and then around the left side. The right side seems to be a dead-end trick put there by the evil Sith. Or something. Uh, a little higher. We're going to go in and then back out. And now we're on the out- yep, now we're done. On the outside of the ring and ready to succeed in life. Give me- give me my rewards. Tiny things are pulled towards you. Is that my new ability? Did I just gain the ability to pull that thing towards me? Oh yeah, it's pulled towards me. Interesting. So now, I believe it, so I got a new power, right? But this one isn't a, it's not, it's not gliding. It's like, last ones were gliding and gravity, but this one is just, uh, it just makes it easier to pick things up. I will not protest. Hello, sir. a good space weasel. Looked like it may have been accidentally warping in and out of existence, unfortunately. Whoopsie. Physics are not always easy. Oh wow, this is gonna make it way easier to collect things. They're all, they're all fly towards me. Give me your stuff. And, and because of my extended drifting, I went ahead and spawned the star. Yeah! Things are going nice and smoothly now. Way to go, new power. What's so important that you couldn't wait until the morning to show me? Well, I, uh, got you a present. What is it? It's an eyepiece for this telescope I bought you. What? No, Arthur! Because you love space. It's beautiful. But these things cost a fortune. Ah, uh, not if you save up your comic book money. And besides, you'll need it to see our special guest. Special guest? And since you decided not to go off to school, there's something else in the box, too. Yes, I'll marry you. And then tragedy strikes! Because they're not allowed to be a children's tale until everyone dies horribly and a lesson is learned or something. Oh, Do I have to wake him? He's adorable. Do I just hop on him? Oh, what's all the way out there? What are you, sir? Are you a kite? If I fly around in circles, I can probably catch it. 
Don't have an immediate apparent goal right now. Oh, it's being drifted towards me. Oh, they're wings. I can take them over to him and give him real wings. Okay, so maybe not wings. Maybe they're antler cozies? Okay, uh oh. He might be hard to catch. But he doesn't have my crazy flying drifting powers. Oh, Jesus. Okay, this is gonna be tricky. He's in animal spirit mode where he's controlled directly by my key inputs. How do I even... Yes, come to me. Come to me, my precious. It shall be mine. You cannot escape. Maybe he can escape. He might be able to escape. As it turns out. Oh, we're on top of each other. Now I just need to go up. How do I... Yeah, 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 yeah. I just need to go a little higher. No, he's running away now. Why? Why do you do this to me, dear man? Oh, Jesus, I got so close. This is... This is doing my head in. This is... This is like a nightmare. I've said nightmare a weird amount of times for a game that's supposed to be for children. <laughs> like, everything's a nightmare for me in this game. Oh, no. How will I cope? Huh? I'm getting... Every time I try to get closer, I'm just getting further away. How do I even... Sir? Sir, would you like to play? I gave you a nice antler cozy. Why can't you just cooperate with me? I'm trying to save the universe or whatever's going on in this game. <laughs> Just hop in my Technicolor dream coat. It's cool. Lots of people do it. All the cool kids are doing it, especially all the cool font. Why aren't you moving anymore? Did I break you? I think I broke him. Oh, I unbroke him, and and did not successfully catch him. Is it? Is that? His, is that what he does when I press glide? Weird. I'm not getting any higher though. Still though, if he doesn't move when I glide, then maybe I can abuse this. I just need to get higher. Can you take me higher, please? This is not entirely successful. I'm not getting any higher, am I? I'm getting a little... Yeah. Yeah, okay. So he... Uh, this is taking me 500 years. This is going to be 40% of the episode. Or, or I win right there. Wow. It is very difficult to fly. Oh, thank goodness. Another guardian. I have so much to ask. I'm good. You're... Why are you? <laughs> Who's a good giant space deer? You are! Yes, you are! <laughs> I believe the conclusion to be made here is that deer are the worst. Don't play with them. They will make your children stupid. Run away from the freaking deranged deer. Got into all the stashes, everyone's stash that has ever existed. Dear lord, even the mustache is the worst kind of stash. Uh, up, please, please. Oh, that looks really unhappy. I can't wait to find out what happens next. It'll be such a great moment for us. Going in circles didn't do anything. Up, down. Am I supposed to turn into water? I thought we had cutscenes up till this point, but this one just kind of didn't do anything. Is it a glitch? Am I missing a specific action? Let's click on him. Nope. Clicking is how you platform. That's super weird. Huh. Well, I guess we'll try again later. Maybe maybe when I finish the next world, if I come back, it'll trigger something. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Like always, that was the Deer Galaxy. The third of seven in this game, as far as I can tell. I'll see you guys in the next one when we take on whatever kind of bird that is. I'll see you next time.